And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Dinamo Kiev up against Pau. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such a game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope to see some great football today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one underway. Serhi Sidorchuk. Moving forward effectively. Volodymyr Shepelev. A glorious chance. Oh, he's blocked it. Douglas Augusto. Just the challenge that was required. And support available. Running with the ball confidently. Could cross it in here. Real chance, and a goal! Now they've broken through, 1-0 here. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So underway again here, one nil the score. Volodymyr Shepelev. And using his strength to shield the ball. Well, simply couldn't beat the first defender. And he might profit here. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire.
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Getting the better of his opponent, and a goal kick is the outcome. Well, they've decided to make a change. they get the ball once more promising sequence and the flag does go up must have been tight As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Serhi Sidorchuk. He has teammates around him. But the danger averted for now. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, they're dominating this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box, and the finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this going into the second period. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, he might have been tempted to caution him, but didn't, Stuart. Yeah, and I like that from the referee. It's not a yellow card for me. Good-looking cross. Threat over for now, it seems. How can he take them on and beat them? Chance to cross. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. He's got the right idea with that pass. The concession of a corner here. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not all that convincing defensively. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day what commences.
using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball good tackle take it away Vitaly Bujalski Zivkovic he takes aim and keeping it out Serhi Sidorchuk and continues his run but nothing comes of it good defending it was 30 minutes left for play. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Can he find the right pass? Well, he really read that brilliantly. Vitaly Bujalski. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. just narrowly off target well they broke with such pace and intent fantastic move just couldn't quite cap it off both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench and they need to get tighter here a good looking ball very much run of the mill as saves go Augusto into the final 20 minutes oh that's a really good run now showing excellent judgment to intercept And the counter-attack is on, options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Well, visionary passing. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Tyson. Stefan Schwab. Zivkovic. Nelson Oliveira. Tyson. Oh, it might be. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Volodymyr Shepelev. Lednev. Volodymyr Shepelev. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively, given the circumstances. Oh. 
So two minutes of stoppage time here. Villarinha. Nelson Oliveira on the ball. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin the European Cafe. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.